So this video is going to be a relatively short look at the SketchUp interface and we're going to have a look at where the buttons are and some basic tools such as moving around, uh, zooming in and out and building a basic shape. So to start off with, at the top here we've got one toolbar and on the side here we've got another toolbar. Now later on in the series we're going to look at different kind of toolbars you can bring in, how you can customize things, but right now all you need to know is here. So um, what we're going to do to start with is take this tool called Orbit. Now if you look at the page you'll see, apart from this guy in the middle, some lines. So I've got a blue line going up, a green line going up from distance that way, and a red line going this way. This represents the three dimensions in space. So we know we have X, Y, and Z. So a three-dimensional universe, three dimensions in CAD. What the orbit tool allows us to do is move around, so spin. And if you look at the tool itself, it looks like something spinning. Now, if I just click on that, um, you'll see that my cursor has changed into the rod with the arrow spinning around. If I hold down my left mouse button and move my mouse to the left, you see the world starts to spin. Just look at the red line. Now I release, move the mouse around, nothing happens. Once again, I'm going to hold down the left mouse button and move to the right and you'll see that everything's spinning. I realize this can be a bit confusing because in SketchUp, the human, which is in there, he stays front on at all times, he doesn't move around, which is just one of the quirks. He does have a vital role, which is when you start building things, if you want to make it roughly human height, you make it roughly the height of him, and it's fine. So he's there for scale. Um, we use that. Another thing you can do with the orbit is, um, so with the zoom, which is there, is click the left mouse button, move the mouse up, and you zoom in. Move the mouse down, and you zoom out. Okay? If you move the mouse left and right, it won't do anything. It's just the up and down actions. So we can move around, and we can zoom in and out. Now, you'll also see that these tools here are present on the side. So we've got the zoom there, we've got the orbit there. At this point, you might find be finding it a little bit difficult to visualize what's going on because 3D CAD can be a difficult new skill. So I'm going to do something that will help you see it better. If you click on this rectangle tool on the left area there, we can draw a shape. Now you see that the um, cursor has turned to a pencil, hence draw, and then rectangle next to it. If we were to click, say, the circle, we get a different tool. We want to draw a rectangle, so just click that. Now, as I'm moving around in space, there's nothing special happening. I'm just going to be drawing somewhere. But I want to draw at a specific point, which is near his feet. As I move my cursor close to the line, you'll see that it will start to snap. There we are. Now, we see when we go to the origin, which is the very center where all these dimensions meet, it snaps onto there. If I start moving my mouse along that green line, it's going across there. It's snapping to that axis. And same thing with the red, it's snapping to the red. Moving on the blue line, it's snapping to the blue. The little red dot shows you it's going to be on this axis. But I want it to go at absolute zero as the corner. So click on that. One click with my left mouse button, and you know, no hands and drag this out until I go, that's about right. Now, as you see, there are some things here, that are some lines going on like that. Don't worry about that, we will cover that in later videos. But I'm just gonna draw a shape. There we are, okay? Now, with the orbit tool, which is there, I can spin around and you can start to see that we are actually turning. And more importantly, you can see what we've drawn with the rectangle is a two-dimensional shape. So if I was to use the Orbit tool, click, hold down the left mouse button, and push it up, we, go, we can see beneath it, we can see that's got no depth. So again, the Orbit tool can move to the left, 
move to the right, move up, move down. So what can we do to turn this two-dimensional shape into a three-dimensional block? Because after all, 3D CAD's all about that. There's a tool here on the side called Push-Pull. It's also at the top there. So click on that, and what we get to do now is we orbit to a good place, like there. We can see that when we hover the mouse over the shape, the shape has a little mottled surface or blue dots. Move it off, and it disappears. This shows that that surface has been selected. We'll see more about this in a few minutes, but for now, we just know that if we click once, again, no hands, and move the mouse down, it pulls the shape out. We're not being precise here, we're going to go for any size. So I'm going to click once again, and there we have it. Orbit tool, move around. And what we can see here is we have a 3D shape which we can move. Use the zoom tool, and zoom in here. And there's one more tool I want to show you at the top here, which is the pan tool. Now, we're not moving in or out or spinning around, we're just moving left and right. So if you think about um, like your head, if we had an object such as this lemon squeezer, the orbit is doing this, looking around, the zoom is looking in, whereas the pan is just left, right, up, down. We're not getting closer or anything. So I hope that helps you visualize what we're doing. So with the pan tool, select that, we can just move up and down. Now you will see that SketchUp is intelligent. The perspective does change a little bit. Um, as we see there, we get some more and that's just disappearing into the horizon. So with these three tools, we can actually get to see what we like. Because I want to draw another shape on here. Now let's see what I can do. There. Now, I've got myself into a place where I can see the surface of this block pretty easily, but you might be thinking it's a bit difficult going up to the, the uh, toolbar, down again, up to the toolbar, down again. If you're building a complex building, it'd be so much back and forth. So there are some shortcuts, and these are really easy, and they involve your mouse. So if you have a mouse with three mouse buttons, which pretty much all of them have these days, if you just click and hold, the uh, middle button and show this. I'm going to select just this rectangle tool again. So, what I'm doing is I'm pressing down the middle button and it turns into the orbit tool. I release it and it turns back to normal. What this means is I can be wanting to draw a shape. I press the orbit tool, I press the middle mouse button, the orbit tool pops up, and I can orbit around until I'm at the angle I like. Now, I might be too zoomed in, I want to zoom out of this. So I can just again take the middle mouse button and just scroll, I zoom out. So between those two commands, the orbit and the zoom in, zoom out, I can see pretty much everything. Take the pan, go into there, um, so I can move around, and that makes life very easy. You'll probably find that when you first start doing this, it's not the easiest thing in the world. It can be difficult at first because you're learning it, but once you get it, it's a great skill to have that never leaves you and works with every 3D package, so do persevere. I personally love using the mouse because it frees you up so much. Anyway, I'm going to go back and I want to draw a rectangle. Um, by the way, from now on, every time I do orbiting, it'll be from the mouse with zoom as well, so don't expect me to go back and forth because otherwise you might be lost. Anyhow, so I want to draw another shape here. If I have my cursor in space, nothing happens. Um, it's just the same as before. If I move it onto here, you'll see a blue dot appears and some text says on face. What that means is, are we drawing the rectangle on the face of that shape, so that particular face? If I move my mouse cursor to here, it says on face again, the same blue dot, but it's a different face. So we're not doing kind of top, that's on the top, that's on the side we're drawing. And to show you this, I'm just going to draw a rectangle out there. Yep, so we can zoom around and see that rectangle is on top. On this face, draw it out, 
and there we go. So once again, on face. So we can draw on the surfaces that way. If we want to have it exactly in a corner, let's choose this corner here. Just like with the axis that we saw earlier, if we take our mouse cursor to the edge, it will snap to the edge. So a red dot there, a red dot there, and a green dot for the corner. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a box on this surface, on this face, from the corner. So left mouse click, pull out until, let's say there, okay? So I've now drawn that, and you see that's 100% in there. So we've got these little drawings. Let's do something fun with them. So I'm going to zoom out to see the whole thing. To this button here, zoom extends. Click that and it zooms out to the entire piece. With a simple model like this, it's not that useful. But when you start building very large, complex pieces, such as a house, that sorry, that tool becomes very, very important. So once again, zooming in, hitting around, click extents and round. So we've drawn these little shapes on the side. I want to do something with them. Go back to my push pull tool. Um, let's start with this one. Let's just left click again, not holding on to anything. Push the mouse up and click again to release. Okay. And there we have it. It's now about waist height. He can put his book on it. Now, remember I said it earlier about the dots, the shading, showing you what face you're playing with? It was a lot more apparent now. So, as you see there, I put it over this face. It means that this face on the surface will be moving up and down. So I can pull it down, pull it up. I can do different things. I want to undo that. Edit, undo. Okay, so go back again. It's now back at the type pin. So it's pulling that, nothing else. If I want this surface, I want to make it a bit wider, I hover over there, and you see the face goes blue. Click once, move, click. That surface, click once, move, click. This one we did there, we can see it's a bit more complex. We've got that surface there and that surface there. Let's pull this out. So click on there and pull. This one there, click and pull. This one there, click and pull. As you might have guessed already, you can do more than that. So let's have a look at this one. I can pull this up. Also push this back. Okay, make it smaller. But I can go further. I can pull it back so far it goes into the negative and out the other side. Now if you turn around, we can see this hollow shape all the way through to there, apart from where it comes out. Okay. And if I was to pull it back again and it goes to on face, click. I've cut a hole through there. I'm going to just do that again. So undo, undo. Take that, orbit around, on face, and release. So I've actually cut a hole through. So I can carry on doing this and playing around. Um, if I go to on face, so right, let's have it there. Let's make this taller. You know, I can just play around as much as I like doing whatever I want. Make this bit shorter by going, see, on face there, shorter. On face, up, or on face down. Or maybe, how about pulling it down to there. Now, we'll come over these things later on, but you can see by just playing around, I'm starting to create, maybe not a complex shape, but it's not a simple shape either. And this is just by playing on different surfaces. So, there, that is the basic tools of SketchUp. We've got Orbit to move around. We've got 
pan to just go up and down, left, right. We've got zoom to go in and out. We've got zoom extent to see the entire thing. We've got rectangle tool to draw a shape. And we've got push pull. These are the most important tools that you can use. Now, at this stage, you may be finding it a little bit difficult how to use, and you may be thinking that it's a bit too much. The important thing here is don't worry. The first time anyone comes to 3D CAD, it's always a new experience, a big learning curve. So, what I'd recommend doing is if you are still a bit uncertain about what these tools mean, go back and rewatch this video and maybe use SketchUp along with it. Once you are happy that you know what these tools are, so orbit, pan, zoom, zoom extent, rectangle, push pull, once you are clear what they do, try and make a shape. Now this one, I just made at the top of my head. You can make something that look completely different. It doesn't matter what size it is, how it looks, is it at a weird angle, it doesn't matter, just play with it. And the more you get to play with these tools, the more confident you'll be, and the better you become at creating um, in SketchUp. So once you're confident with that exercise and you feel you can build things like I've made, then move on to the second video. So I'll see you later on.